Today we're doing a video, this is a more of a sad, unusual, so sad music. Um, so yeah, um, this is the day of the funeral of Neville Neville. If you're too, not too, uh, if you're not too familiar with him, he is the dad of Gary Neville and Philip Neville, which are two classic footballers. And the dad wasn't actually a footballer; he was a, a cricket player. So this is stuff you know and don't know. So I'm going to be reading a little bit off the computer. Obviously, I don't have to tell you so I have to. Look this way. So he played for Greenmount Cricket Club. So he also had a daughter called Tracy, which I wasn't too familiar with, but she's not as famous as Gary and Phil. So you know, I'm not as well not too familiar with her. So now this is a little bit of a family information. So this is it says Neville and his wife Jill, the general manager and club secretary of English Football League club Berry. So she's you know quite an interesting role in the club. You know. Not massively popular club, but the club I am familiar with. They're three children, obviously Gary and twins Tracy and Phil. Tracy and Phil are twins, but obviously Gary and that are not. Which I won't. I don't actually know that, but you know, say no every day. Neville Neville died on August the seventh, two thousand and fifteen. So as I said, the funeral is today, which is the twenty seventh. So twenty eight days later. That's why the main United players wore wristbands, you know, in memory of this son supporting, you know, you know his dad and the player. Obviously, Gary Neville was a very popular player for United, so having such a prestige, you know, name into it, you know, they, they do it to support their legends, in other words. So, one of the main reasons why I decided to do a story or talk about it is because uh, David Beckham was one of the attendants there or attending because it's today um, he flew all the way from Los Angeles to Manchester just to go to a funeral it's quite good for a friend he's everyone always says you know torn between two lovers you know they're a bitch you know they love each other they're friends you know they're bloody friends very good friends I don't know if I mentioned it but this and also, Neville Neville died of a heart attack, so it was an unexpected death at the age of 65. Quite a sad moment, so, so that is pretty much it. All I want to say is I just hope they have a good day and their funeral turns out awesome. Because I've been to funerals, I know how bad they can be and how sad they are, but they are just things we could go through in life and it happens. So that's it for me pretty much. Um, if you have enjoyed this little video, like would be much appreciated. Subscribe to this channel would be good, you know, we're, I'm trying to get it a little bit bigger than it is, which is one the most not too big, but it will get there in the end, it will get a few more, and hopefully you guys could be ones who support it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.